Good morning. The retired comic here who's not retired. <laughs> Hopefully you'll uh you're picking up on the twist there. But um so let's talk about the elephant in the room this morning on uh my walk here on the last day of our vacation. We're getting picked up in about an hour and a half to head back to the airport and um just getting in a few steps. So the elephant in this video or in the living room, as they say, is uh, these glasses. My wife hates them. I love them. Actually, I don't care one bit about these glasses and that's kind of the point. So much like you, I imagine, whenever I have something coming up, even though I know about it and think about it and in my mind prepare for it, I'm always like, oh crap, today's the day. So we were getting ready to, you know, leave for the airport at the beginning of this trip and we couldn't find half the stuff. I usually bring a floppy hat because I can't handle the sun and sunglasses, couldn't find any sunglasses. But these babies were right there where I wasn't looking for them. They were right in my face. And they have been for about a year and a half now, a point of contention between Vicky and I. See, she hates them. And like I said, I love them, but I really don't care one bit about them. So the point I mean by that is that I can't have nice things. I ruin stuff. I don't take care of it. I'm too busy. I don't value possessions. And so I had some sunglasses years ago. I spent, I think about 200, $250 for them. And this was like 12 years ago. I bought them for a specific trip. I was going to Costa Rica to do fishing. And I was told, man, the sun out there is brutal. So I got, I think they were called Costa Del Mars. They didn't even get to Costa Rica with me. I lost them before I got off the plane. I can't have nice things. And when you lose a $250 pair of sunglasses, it hurts. You remember it. These glasses? I don't know whether I got those glasses, those Costa Del Mars online or, or, or where, probably, probably online. Uh, but that transaction meant nothing to me other than $250. You know where I got these glasses? I remember it vividly because it was at the 50th anniversary of the Milford Senior Center. It was a fundraiser and these glasses were at one of those photo booths. So from the very beginning, these glasses were intended to kind of be goofy. No, I didn't steal them. These were giveaways. Um, and so I spent nothing for these glasses. And that's why I love them, but it's also why I don't care about them. See, I like things that I don't have to take care of because I feel like, oh, I can't sit down at me. Because I feel like a lot of times in my life, I'm taking care of too many things or too many people. So I like things that serve me that I don't have to serve them. There's a video in here about me restoring my boat each year. And uh, my conditioning is a lot better, by the way, but talking and walking like this, uh, just wanna take a little break. So I have a video, I think it's called Boat Revival. I hope you'll watch it, where it's the same topic. It's this old beat up boat. The boat is from 1968, I think. It's a Boston whaler. The motor on it is probably from the mid eighties and my wife hates it because it's chunky and beat up. But every boat person loves it. They think it's vintage. I've not done anything to restore it, but the fact that it's still going, it owes me nothing. It's a, it's a conversation piece. It's, I don't feel bad if I ignore it a little bit and the damn thing just keeps on running. And that's, so these sunglasses are symbolic in our relationship. These are an example of humor, a healthy understanding of moments others recognize. Now, mind you, humor does not mean that you agree. In, and in, in many times it means that you disagree, but you're still choosing to have a lightness in your heart and accept the people that are around you and the situation. 
So it's, it's not that I'm right, you're right. It's that we recognize we're different and we still choose to be together. So I have this famous joke. Well, I can't have a famous joke because I'm not a famous comedian, but I do have this signature bit. It's, it's regarding, uh, the, the tagline is, uh, respect the dish towel. Because in our, you have to come see it live to, uh, to get to hear the dish towel joke as it's properly told. But the point behind the dish towel joke is that my wife and I are very different. And this dish towel uh, discussion is very symbolic of those differences. And we've now gotten to the point where we can laugh about it. And a dish towel, or, I, I'm, I don't know if you're a man or a woman out there, but in the NFL, they have a, a flag. When you challenge a play, you throw a red flag. Well, that's kind of like what a dish towel has become in our relationship. When we're having a difference of opinions, not an argument, we don't fight, we write. <laughs> because our differences are so vast in so many ways, but also it makes us a great couple because we enjoy those differences. I think I enjoy them more than her sometimes, but uh, I'm the slob in the relationship. But I know that there are certain bridges that I don't cross. And there are certain things that I'm asking, I ask her not to cross. She crosses them anyway. Like I have, uh, you know, clothes like pants or something that I'll take off and want to wear again later in the day. And I'll put them at the bottom of the bed and I'll go to get them and they're gone. And she's like, when she says respect the dish towel, I'm like, respect my pile. You know, <laughs> it, it doesn't always work out that way. But humor is not about laughter. It's not even about funny. It's, it's, it can be about differences. But the point is, is you're aware of what's going on. You understand these differences and you choose the person, the people, the party, the program, whatever it is that you're part of, or you don't. Sometimes you have to, you know, leave that environment because you can't accept the, uh, the differences. You're aware of the situation and you choose not to be with the people around you. So that's a, uh, that's also a humor situation. So I'm definitely getting to the point where I'm starting to ramble a bit, but I thought I owed you an explanation about these sunglasses and about, you know, I don't wear them for attention, although <laughs> I get attention with these glasses on, but the point behind them is that they're a memory, not a materialistic thing. They're not a possession for me. They're a memory. I could lose them today or give them away. As a matter of fact, if you want them, you can make a comment. I don't, you know, I don't care if we have a thousand people, I'll mail them to you. The glasses are not the point. It's the memory behind them, the simplicity behind them, the fact that I can be carefree when I wear them, when, I, when I'm wearing them. So I'm gonna sign out now. I got to go finish packing, get a shower, get ready to come back to the real life. But uh, anyway, thought I'd explain the glasses and what humor means in a broader sense. So thanks for being here. Let humor work.